Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever wanted to visualize your team's structure or map out a company hierarchy in a clear, professional way, today's tutorial is for you. We're diving into how to create an organization chart in Power BI. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to build a dynamic org chart that you can use in dashboards, presentations, or just to get a better understanding of how your organization fits together. Let's jump right in. First things first, go ahead and open up Power BI on your computer. If Power BI is new to you, don't worry, this process is beginner friendly and you don't need any fancy technical skills. You just need your dataset and Power BI installed. Once Power BI is up and running, you'll want to start by loading the data you plan to use for your organization chart, whether that's an Excel file or data from a cloud source. Next, here's the important part Power BI doesn't include an org chart visual by default. So, to get that feature, look for the visualizations pane on the right hand side of your workspace. You'll see a bunch of different chart icons, but for this, we need a special one. Click on the three dots at the bottom of the visualizations pane, that's the Get More Visuals option. Think of this like shopping for new tools to add to your toolbox. Here, you can find all kinds of extra chart types and visuals made by third parties. In the search bar that pops up, just type Organization. This will bring up a few different options, but the one I recommend is called Organization Chart by MAQ Software. This one is reliable, widely used, and fits really well with most business needs. Click the Add button next to the Organization Chart by MAQ Software visual. It may take a few seconds, so don't worry if it doesn't pop up immediately. It's just downloading and adding that visual to your Power BI Toolkit. Once it's there, you'll see a new icon in your visualizations pane, usually with a little chart and some figures representing the org structure. Now, click on that new organization chart icon to add it to your report canvas. This is where the magic happens. The visual will open up and be ready for your data. At this point, you'll need to map out your dataset so the chart knows how to build your org structure. Generally, you'll have fields like employee name, manager, and maybe title or department. It's incredibly important to add these fields following the right sequence. For example, the employee field goes in its slot, and the manager field must correctly reference who each person reports to. This might seem small, but it's like giving your GPS the right directions. If you get the order wrong, your chart won't make sense or connect people properly. Double check your field mapping here. If things look strange, maybe people are reporting to themselves or there are strange loops, pause and review how you put the data in the field wells. Don't worry, it happens to the best of us. Just take a breath and try assigning the fields again. Once you've matched your fields to the right spots, you'll instantly see your organization chart come to life. You can adjust the design, expand parts of the chart, or play with formatting to get it just the way you like. And that's really it. You now have a complete organization chart built right inside Power BI, ready to share with your teammates or use in your next big meeting. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the like button and leave a comment below if you have any questions. I always love hearing from you and helping out. And don't forget to subscribe for more step-by-step -step guides just like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.